Number 23 from the Fall ACP Review. Matthew and some friends are going to a concert. They hire a car service for $75 to drive them to a restaurant for dinner and then to a concert. They divide the $60 cost of the dinner equally. However, since Matthew's dad provided concert tickets for the group, the friends agreed that Matthew doesn't have to pay for the car service. The friends divide the cost equally among themselves. If each friend spends a total of $25, how many friends went with Matthew? Here's the question. How many friends? X will be our friends. That's what's unknown and what we're going to solve for. Now, I'm going to solve this much like you would do an average. Now, if you had to do an average, what you would do is you would add up something and divide it by the total, uh, a number of people. So you have like the total cost divided by people. That's how we find averages. Now, in this, we have two different costs. So we have first a $75 car service. And it says, so this is the car service, that uh, since Matthew, the friends agree that Matthew doesn't have to pay for the car service. So it's just the friends, not Matthew. So this would be 75 divided by x. Now we also have something else going on. We have um, <clears throat> the 60 cost, and they divide it equally. That means Matthew and his friends. So we pay 60 for food. But it's not just Matthew that's eating, it's Matthew and friends. So x plus 1 would equal friends plus Matthew. Now we're told each friend spends a total of $25. And that's a total. So those two things added together would equal $25. So how can we solve for friends? Well, there's two ways we could do it. We could insolve. There's actually three. I'm going to show you two te calculator techniques. You could insolve this, just as I have done here, and uh, like that, and that will give us a value. You could graph, and I'll show you how to graph it real quick. You go to new documents here, add a graph, and you would graph uh, the left side of that equation, which was 75 divided by x plus. 60 divided by x plus 1. And then on the other side, you'd say 25 for the right side. Now, these are going to cross at 25. That's the height. And so you'd go up here, and you would look at the, where the intersection is. And it appears that the intersection is right here. And the x referred to friends. So we have five friends. If you insolve this, this would say the same thing. It would equal 5. Or by graphing we get the same answer, 5. So the answer here is 5 friends. One more way you could do it uh, and to solve a problem like this is you multiply by the denominators, the factors that are missing. So 75 would get multiplied by x plus 1, or you actually just multiply by every single factor. Um, so this would be getting multiplied by x plus 1 and um, x plus 1 on top and bottom. Oh, I'm sorry. The easier way of doing this is to multiply everything by x plus 1 times x. So that's what's on the denominator. Now, this one already had the x, so it'll cancel. The second you do the same, we're going to multiply that by x plus 1 and x. It's already over x plus 1. And then 25 would do the same. And you would just go through the process of doing your algebra to solve. Over here, these x's would go away, and here, the x plus 1's would go away. And so this would simplify the equation where you have 75x plus 75 plus 60x equals all this. And you would just go through solving like a quadratic. So that's the other technique of solving.